All righty, I'm back from my Father's Day uh, barbecue. Ah, it's everything I could have ever imagined. It's what Father's Day should be. Let me look here. It says 98 on these walls right now. When I walked around and I shot in the sun, it was 130. So I'm going to go ahead and cut in. And uh, this is an end piece here. I, I'm just out of curiosity. I'm going to brush the whole thing. Uh, and so I'm going to get a wider brush. I'm going to get the four inch wide brush. I'm going to cut that all in and uh, take a look at it. Uh, and uh, this window is more finished than the other windows in that I have a metal header over it. One of some of the windows that you are looking at that are uh, looking pretty bad when you get close. It's because I haven't trimmed them out or anything like that. They're watertight. Uh, there's tin behind them, then butanol, then seam sealer, then flex, uh, flex seal. I didn't mess around. I don't want any water in there. And even still, when it rains a lot, then the wood gets saturated and it still weeps in. I mean, you know, it comes through the wood. So uh, Thompson water seal will be next on this. But without further ado, let me go ahead and mix up the paint and uh, get going. Now I'm on a little blogging cam camera while my other stuff uploads, so uh, my audio might be a little different. Apologies on that. Let me go ahead and get this going. Well, it's been a few hours while I've been at the barbecue. Let me see if I need to mix it all up again. Probably not a bad idea. It's kind of thick, so I don't know if it's settled at all. I doubt it. A little. There's a string on it that I don't like to see if I can get that string out of it. Paint string. I haven't used very much of this so far. Like I say, maybe a little more than a quart is what it looked like to me. Alright. And like I say, I'm going to use the wide brush on this. because I, I just want to get done. It's so hot. So incredibly hot. That I don't want to mess around. I still haven't decided on the paint sprayer, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it out. I think it'll give a better layer. It's a bad idea to stomp it down like that. I just stomped mud into it. All right, so uh, I'm not after perfection. I'm just after good enough. So uh, that's what you're seeing here. And uh, again, this will all have a uh, earth bag over the top of it. But I would think if you were planning to paint, if you were planning to paint one of these, I think it would be worth the money to buy, even if it was an extra three or four thousand uh, dollars, to buy a uh, unused one that's already primed, already finished. You might even get them where they uh, paint them for you. I don't know. Um, so this one had been on the seas for uh, uh, 20 years before I bought it, so it's got a lot of use on it. So there you go. i have uh, using that multi-tool scrape in it. Let's go ahead and uh, get to work here and uh, start laying this in. There's a big old garden spider up there. I like them, so I'm just going to broom them off and hang them uh, in the yard. There you go. Can you all see that? Is he focusing? <laughs> Little sparrow's eggs right in the pylon. I'm going to leave the nest, of course. I'll, no big deal to me. Like I say, eventually these will have... Uh, I apologize for the shake, folks. Uh, eventually these will be all earth bags, so I can afford to let him have his, her to have his her little nest. I didn't move off grid to be all mean to animals. <laughs> I'm trying to make a little habitat out here. Something nice. A food forest for everybody. and uh, You know, so 
I'm not an end time prepper or anything like that, but I believe in uh, trying to grow your own food and living small, but making a little room for animals. I'll, I'll leave that little, little sparrow up there. He's cute. All right, so this is one end done. I mean, you know, rough draft. I think that looks pretty darn good. Once I get the whole thing painted, it'll be nice. It will be nice not having it all multicolor. I'm gonna paint this end over here now, which is in also in the shade. So I gotta move some things out of the way and whatnot. So I'll do this end now. Two odd ends I have to do before I can paint. So this is uh, obviously the true north side of the Connex, and uh, indeed I have, um, you know, moss growing. <laughs> I'm going to power wash that. I'm going to clear out this. I need some of this water to power wash anyway. This is a dry, uh, dry cabin, so I haven't had rain in a while. The horses are using this dock tank, so there's no more water in there. So I took down the, uh, actually a storm took down this half of the gutter, and I'll take down that half, and then I'll clean out the, because uh, I'm getting ready to spray. It's an awful lot of wind today, so I don't know if I'll be able to spray today, but if not, I'll get out a brush and work with a brush. I'd rather spray paint, though, because I think it'll be a more even, uh, even solution. So I went and chased all the screw heads in there last night getting ready and uh, cut in this edge doesn't look too bad so if i could get the sprayer going if the wind dies down i'll be in good shape all right let me see if i can get those things done 